So as you can see, nothing extravagant, just really ready for a tune-up. It's time. I expect this car will run better right away. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here under the shade tree. And up on the gurney, Wildman Willie has a Nissan Versa named Stella. Today, Stella needs a tune-up. It's just its time. We're going to do a full-on quail pack job on this one. And, of course, being the Nissan, this intake stuff comes off. No problemo. It is designed to come off, mostly plastic. We do have a valve cover gasket. Looks like the original might be RTV on this one, so I'm going to inspect it for leakage. If it shows me that it is not nasty, then they get to get their money back on that part. Again, we're going to inspect it. But off comes the intake manifold to reach them coil packs. To go back in its place, we got NGK, iridium spark plugs. Should be just like what come out of it. We got United coil packs. I like these pretty good. I don't like it when the box busted, but these have been good to me over time, especially on these applications. They come with dielectric grease. Just been nice pieces for me for the money so far. Denso air filtration. There's that big Vel Velpro gasket set. Got into our uh, cabin air filter as well. Also, if we have time, and you know what, the weather's right, and that's not going to kill me, so I believe we do. We got lower control arms to go on this car. Got a tie rod end if I need it. But first things first, we're going to focus on the top side half. So I'm going to go through here, mark some things, make sure I know where things are oriented. We're going to start by removing the snorkel ho hose and this stuff to get better access to the battery. We're going to disconnect our battery and basically just unbuild the plastics as we go down the line until we reach the throttle body. All right, we got the engine's intake hand pulled off. We got the throttle body set off to the side. We got all the plastic crap removed. We got all the plugs or all the wire connectors marked. Got gaskets to go in the holes. And now we can actually do a tune-up on this. So, folks, we have a valve cover gasket set. But as you can see, this guy is RTV. And I'm looking around it, and it's dry. It's got dirt on top of the ascension. That don't leak. So if there's no big oil pulls in these spark plug tubes, then we're going to leave that the hell like it is and clean it up and do the rest of the job. Again, if it ain't leaking now, then it's never going to pretty much on that. Hold us solid all this time. And uh, when I've got our TV now and I've got a weird Felpro gasket to go back in, I got questions. I open that box, I can't send it back. Anyway, no big deal. We'll figure it all out. But as you can see here, original coal packs, I'm sure they got big M's on them. We'll mark them up. We're going to change them out. It's going to be good. Let's get to rocking. This really ain't so hard, folks. Don't be scared of a Versa. It's got a bunch of crap over the top, but it is designed to be removed and worked with. Okay. Got the tune-up part done. We got a new PCV valve in it. We got new coil packs in it. We got new NGK spark plugs in it. We got it all nice and cleaned up. That valve cover gasket is not a gasket. It doesn't need to be done. It's just fine. It was bone dry inside there. Let's have a look at how these old plugs came out. So as you can see, nothing extravagant, just really ready for a tune-up. It's time. I expect this car will run better right away. None of these coil packs were dead, but they've been done 10 years worth of zapping, so time to get them out. Always love it, by the way, when my new plugs are exactly what came out of it. I should have mocked that up, but yes. NGK out, NGK in, same deal. There was about 12 different kinds of them, but the purple one with the glass fiber reinforced, like you find here, is what they put on it. And that's what I try to run as much as possible. United Coil Packs, good stuff. So, this leaves for me to clean up the intake lip, get all this plastic stuff cleaned up and get that reassembled. But before I do that, we're going to take the dog for a walk. Uh, this took a little longer than I expected, but so be it. Nice work. Pretty look at that folks that might be the prettiest versa node engine you've seen in a long damn time you can tell i was in there at least a new denso air filter in there Got everything tied down and marked real good only thing left to do is take it for a test drive then we're going to talk to the client and see if they want me to move on with the undercar or what else we're going to do this evening i'm not sure but i have time to do it if they want me to everything appears to be together and marked so it's test time. Happy Versa running real good and smooth. It wasn't running terrible before, but that's definitely an immediate improvement in the smoothness of that. 
So, hell yeah, yay. We got some rattle going on in the back. I bet that's exhaust or that weird spare tire mount they got on these things. I'm going to check that out in a minute. We'll take it for that test drive and then regroup. That would drive me crazy if I didn't know what it was. It has nothing to do with what I just did. Thank goodness. Let's put the hood down on it. There's that. All right. That's time to go take a spin. Yeah, I will fix up that exhaust rattle for sure. 118,000 miles. Oh yeah, that's a hell of a lot happier than it was. Let's take the spin. Boy, that was fun. It's been quite the full day out here. But we're making progress and I got one more corner to go and plenty of daylight to do it. So we had a bad lower control arm here. Bushing and it was all tore up. Not anymore. I've got it all in. I got it all marked. I got everything all happy. No kinks in my brake line. That's all good. I need to bend my dust shield back away from my rotor to keep that from making noises. Probably. But other than that, that's ready to rock. One more side like that to go. Fun times. To show you what was wrong with it. That's the control arm bushing right there. That was allowing plenty of play in that. So it was wandering all over the place. I don't think the other side is quite as bad. But we're going to do it anyway. So this is a complete set. This car is going to drive and run a hell of a lot better. We are going to come back and do the rest of the suspension brakes. The whole gamut on the thing. It deserves it. But we're getting there, and safety will be restored this afternoon. Ooh, what a fun day. Look at that. A second control arm all marked up. Everything in good, tight, and right. No problems. And Imagine that. This thing won't just wiggle everywhere, folks. It was to the point where you put the tire iron on it, and you'd move the whole damn wheel forward on that bushing. Check out how rough it was. Is this one I just pulled off? That one's bad enough. There's another one that looks like hell. Who knows what I did with it. In any event, the junk old car parts are off. And boy, those were terrible. And I expected it to be a whole lot better. Of course, the car might be a pinch out of line after that. Yeah, there's one. And here's number two. Oh, yeah. That, that was doing real good. So, out with the bad, in with the good. Front end should be tight and right. We'll worry about alignment later after we do other parts on it. Let's get the wheel back on. I'm about out of breath. It's been a hell of a day.